Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. It is time for some prophetic news. Amen. Uh, it's all prophetic. It's been prophetic. We know it. We see it. We praise God through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Time here is 1.40. Uh, 1.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and the date is April the 22nd, 2022, and it's Friday, and the clashes on the Temple Mount continue, okay? This is not going away, all right? But I have some things I want to go over with you, one concerning... Capital C, capital E, capital R, capital N. Their uh, symbolization is the 666, okay? And today, Friday, they are going to be doing their satanic rituals and starting it up again for at least three days, okay? Now, Revelation 9, starting at verse 1, Then the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen to earth from the sky, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. Verse 2, when he opened it, smoke pour out as though from a huge furnace, and the sunlight and air were darkened by the smoke. Okay. We are not in the Great Tribulation, okay? However, we are permitted by the Holy Spirit, our advocate and counselor, to see these things because those who are doing these things, you know, they, they are Luciferians. This is just a fact, okay? And we are seeing these things happen, but it is going to happen on God's timing, amen, not man's timing praise god the father amen through our lord and savior jesus christ so i want to throw that out there because what does it do it causes massive earthquakes and heads up texans okay uh back in i believe it was about 1986 87 somewhere in there um in Waxahachie, Texas, there is also another large hydron uh, collider there, okay? So I don't know if they're going to be starting them both up. I believe there's three, and I, it fails my memory where the other one is at. One is enough, okay? It says they're looking for dark matter. Yeah, they're looking for to bring the evil ones, up out of the pit, okay? That's what they are trying to do, but it's not going to happen until the Lord Jesus Christ allows it to happen. So, and we won't be here. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, we're going to go over to the chirp chirp, okay? Because there's a couple of other things that have come out. This was the, uh, this afternoon at the Temple Mount. Okay. And there was a 4.4 .4 earthquake in the Gulf of Aden, okay? And there was a 4.0 
in southern Alaska. The ring of fire on that one. Okay. Then this came out. The commissioner of police, uh, Rans Yaskov uh, Shabtai, arrived in the old city of Jerusalem on his way to the city. There was a situation assessment at the end of which a decision was made on an immediate recruitment for reserve forces of the border police, Israel. Okay. And here's another photograph. Oh, it comes up better that way. This afternoon, Jerusalem. Okay. What a time to be alive, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, this also came out, which is biblical. And we find it in Revelation 6. We'll go there in a moment. Israeli former uh, head uh, Av Avador Lieberman uh, says substitute for Russia and Ukraine. He is going to fly to Azerbaijan. Okay. Now, that is Iran's beloved Azerbaijan, remember, we talked about this, and sign wheat and oil imports with Israel. Okay, Revelation 6. Let's see here. Starting with verse 5, when the lamb broke the third seal, I heard the third living being say, come. And I looked up and I saw a black horse and his rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Verse 6, and a voice from among the four li living beings said, a loaf of wheat, bread, or three loaves of barley for a day's pay and don't waste the olive oil, and wine. Glory, hallelujah, to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are seeing his word playing out. We know how this is going to end. Christ Jesus is the Lord, and the victory is his. Amen? And let's see what else we may have here that I haven't gotten to. Uh, okay, here. A Palestinian who was hit in the head during clashes on the Temple Mount earlier uh, was hospitalized at Jerusalem's Hadassah Ayn Karim in serious condition. The hospital says he was taken to the medical center by police officers. We will play this. Hold on. Rockets, this, this just coming out seven minutes ago, okay? Rockets were launched seconds before the 9 p.m. PIJ's Palestinian Islamic Jihad favorite hour. IDF confirms there were two rockets, one fell short. I received nothing on my Red Kumta alerts, okay? Nothing. Palestinian media reports say an explosion was heard east of Gaza City. Some reports claim a rocket was fired and alert was activated on the app in an open area. No immediate comment from. 
the IDF. So, keep looking at my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm quite certain I'll have another late night washroom report this evening, okay? We know we're leaving. Glory, hallelujah. Stand firm in our most holy faith, okay? He's coming. He's coming for those of us who have been watching and yearning and praying. And uh, for those of you who do not know, our grandson, Michaela, had the surgery um, a couple, let's see, when was it? Wednesday, I believe, Wednesday morning. Uh, they took out the intubation tube and they put the permanent breathing device inside of him. He came through the surgery. Well, you know, potentially it could have been that tube, you know, that had been down in his lungs for over three weeks that caused his pneumonia, the infection. You know, maybe without that in there, um, his infection will clear up and he'll be able to wake up. If not, I honestly believe he will be coming home with us. Amen. The spirit and the bride say come. Maranatha, have a beautiful day. Love you guys.